This is part 8 of payroll management software. Today we will learn how to assign attendance to each employee. For that we will create new form under this employee folder. Right click employee folder. Click add windows form. Your form name will be form EMP attendance. Click this add button. Now I want to change this form name here. Employee attendance. Okay, now we will design this form. I need label text box. I have designed this form. Now we will give name for this text box and buttons. Okay. I name this text box like like this on uh, text EMP name, employee name CMB month um, CMB your text uh, total days text working days like that. Okay, here we have four buttons: save, update, and delete. And the last button is for view. Here we call another form. Um, to view the employee attendance, okay. Here uh, we use the two drop down year and month, okay. I want to change this style drop down style by default, it's in drop down. Change this to drop down list, then only user can't edit any text in that uh, combo box, okay. Then uh, employee ID total days, working days, or uh, these uh, text boxes will accept numeric values only. So we will write a uh, key press even for this text boxes okay here go to even tab here select key press so new uh, employee id um still we we didn't create uh, employee attendance table in sql server we have to create it okay first we'll implement key press even for this text boxes I have implemented key press even for text absent and the text LOP this these text boxes okay now uh, we'll create SQL table SQL server right click your table new table your first column will be employee ID it's a data type integer okay second year worker then month remaining columns i added total days working days present days absent days lop days okay let's save this table emp attendance click ok ok now now we will implement key down even for this text boxes before that uh, we should understand the logic uh, for employee id if i enter some text in this employee id um, dynamic data grid view will display under this text box Okay, in that grid view, employee ID, employee name should display. Uh, if I double click this or uh, data grid view, um, employee ID, employee name will display in this text box. Next, cursor should focus on this combo box. Okay, uh, then I will select the year, then will select month. 
okay if now we have employee id year and month okay year now we can fetch the record from table if employee id in that year and the in the current month it uh, record already exists means we will display the data as year total days working days present absent and lop days if record not exists means it will be empty string only okay first we will add a dynamic data grid view code for this here i will add this code okay here uh, we declare data grid view its name dg view here we declare two columns dg view column one and column two okay here all the properties whatever we need that are described here that mention okay uh, here um, x coordinate y coordinate and the data grid view width and the height data grid view column name and the column size we will mention in this search function okay we need to call this search function um, in page load event okay now um, for employee id a uh, text box uh, we will implement text change event in this i will add this code if text employee id text length greater than zero means that dynamic data grid view visible true uh, dg view that bring to front we are uh, bring to front the data grid view then here we are passing the parameters to that uh, search function uh, for x coordinate y coordinate and height of the data grid view width of the data grid view here we have two columns employee id and employee name here column size we are giving then mouse double click event we have to create under this uh, code okay uh, if data grid view sorry for here we are fetching the data employee id name from employee table where the employee id like this text box whatever we enter okay if there is record uh, inside means it will display the data in this dynamic data grid view okay if text box or uh, employee id text length not uh, greater than zero means the dynamic data grid view visible false okay now we will add this employee mouse double click event okay here i declared a uh, boolean variable change equals true employee mouse double click if change true means we will come inside here we assign bool variable change equal false then now uh, we will pass the data grid view column values to this text box if cells index 0 means uh, employee id will display in this employee text employee id text box and then employee name will display in this text box after the dg view visible false it's focus on next year combo box here okay uh, again uh, we assign this change bool variable change equal true okay now we need to call this form um, inside this form main okay here yeah, we need to add employee attendance here yeah, double click here yeah, i just copy this code and pasting here your yeah, form name will be employee attendance copy this and pasting here okay now start the application now click login go to employee menu here we have employee attendance sub menu inside this we have employee attendance form see here uh, by default cursor focus on working days we have to change this uh, to employee id and we'll implement key down event for this screen okay now in page load event this dot active control equals text emp id then by default um we should en enable this or uh, disable this update and delete button so button delete dot enable equals false button update dot enable equals false okay now um 
we will use key down even for this uh, employee id before that uh, we will check uh, whether that uh, data grid view is working or not okay first start the application login employee attendance yeah employee id if i type uh, in one here we have record for employee id one employee id and the name is uh, displaying okay now uh, if i end, press enter uh, employee id and the employee name should display in this relevant text boxes then uh, this data grid view visible false okay that's what we want now okay we'll write code for this now yeah go to events yeah key down event inside this if e dot key code equals keys dot enter if dg view dot rows dot count greater than zero means i just copy these three lines four lines okay I am assigning this data grid view cell values to this relevant text boxes and then DG view visible false. Okay, then I it should focus on combo box, uh, year combo box. Okay, if DG view rows dot count not greater than zero means your this dot DG view visible false. Okay, save this and let's check login employee attendance year one if i press enter okay now it's focus on year okay now we have to add items in this year combo box and 12 months in this uh, month combo box yeah uh, click this small icon edit items here year will be 2017 2018 2019 2020 like that we can add a number of items here okay month uh, we need to add 12 months march april may june july august September, October, November, December. Okay, click OK. Now we'll write key down even for this e com two combo box and the remaining text boxes. Okay. If e dot key code equals keys dot enter. If cmb year dot selected index not equal to minus one then it should focus on cmb month else it's focus on combo box year itself dot focus like this we'll write a uh, key down even for this remaining uh, input columns okay key down code implementation has completed okay now let's start this application login employee attendance in employee id total days working days present absent days we can enter numeric values only not uh, can't enter characters okay like this okay it's working fine by default update and the delete button are disabled only save and the view button is enabled okay guys uh, in our next video we'll discuss uh, how to insert um, data into this employee attendance table um, see you there in next video thank you for listening this